Now, a common question that I get from guys is how do I connect different dance moves together? So in this video, I'm going to answer that question. You see, dance is a lot like learning a language. When you learn a new language, what you want to do is you want to get used to the vocabulary first and practice them so they become kind of uh, instinctive before you can connect the different words together to start forming sentences, right? Well, for the language of dance, it works pretty much the same way. You want to think of these different dance moves as the vocabulary or the words in the language of dance. You want to get used to these words first individually. You want to have them uh, mastered first before you start combining them together. Once you master these different dance moves, then you get to combine them a lot more easily and you get to flow in and out of them a lot more easily. But I know that is super conceptual and it's kind of like telling you to just practice. So now I'm going to show you a more tactical tip for you to connect dance moves together. So there are three main grooves to dance, at least the type of dancing that we are doing, the club type of dancing. And what you want to do is you want to learn the dance moves associated to each one of these grooves and you want to transition between the dance moves for each one of these grooves and not mix them up. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. The first dance groove here is the up bounce. So we go up, up, up. And then the second one, we can do the down bounce, which is down, down, down. And then we have the rocking groove, which looks like this. So rocking back and forth. So for the first one, we have the up bounce, the two dance moves that we can do. So we have the step touch and we have the four corners. So what we want to do is we want to transition between these dance moves because they both have the same groove. So we can do the step touch. And when we're ready, we can do the boom, 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 and go right back to the step touch. Okay, so in terms of the down bounce, we have the down, 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 down. One of the dance moves we could do is the knee bounce, down and down, down and down. And another thing we can do is the jack in the box. Boom, 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 and boom. So putting the two together, we can go one, two, one, two. Boom, 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 and boom. Boom, 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 and boom. Boom, 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 and boom. Okay, so combining the two dance moves with the same groove together. Okay, so the last one here, we have the rocking motion, rocking groove. So we can do the pivot bounce. And also we can do the slow, slow, boom, boom. So it's a variation of the pivot bounce. Putting the two together, we go boom, 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 and boom, boom, boom. Okay, so notice how by combining the moves with the same groove together, you get to flow in and out of them really easily.